Hey y'all, welcome to the second location of the Wild West two story. So Pedro is kind of wanted in the town, so we are running away. You can get a one way ticket out of the town. Okay, he is the one heading to Oregon for that free land. But first we have to do a couple things to get out of this town. So let's start doing the mandavan. First step is getting a pistol. Can of beans is probably also one of the things. And he will give a can of beans in exchange of five potato snack uh, sacks. Looks like a bit of a puzzle to me. Let me first find out what exactly is the objective. Pistol, can of beans, rope and escape. Okay. So yes, can of beans is one of the things for which we need five sacks of potatoes. Now potatoes are probably in the house which we can see in the backyard of potatoes. So let's find if we can get those here but looks like we have to do something else first okay for potatoes we need to fix the central water tank uh, water supply uh, this looks like a place for water based on the symbol next to that building so let's go there and fix the water tank. Just some extra tiles in the backyard, nothing much here. The main objective is fixing the tank here in the center. Okay, pretty easy one, a big deal. And it's fixed. Don't forget to turn that valve. Usually when pipelines puzzles are there, there usually is a valve as well. Okay, that has filled up the tank, stopped the leak on the ground. And can probably get the potatoes now. So, potato farm is this one. Hmm, I kind of took the wrong one long route anyway so great we can get the potatoes now and in exchange of the potatoes we are going to get our can of beans in this building if I remember yep that's probably the only other building here that we haven't visited okay we've got the can of beans now let's look for the next object We have a guy blocking us. He will probably move aside uh, as part of some objective. Perhaps. 
perhaps there's going to be another round of going around and this is just one part of that but we have to first start the cycle before he will move so let's keep finding where, where, where we may get the next thing I think this center building may have the pistol because it has targets so it might as well have some guns okay pull this to move the target nope this is not the one with the pistol so again a wrong building which we haven't unlocked yet and I'm out. This is probably the place we are looking for. Yep, somebody with an yellow arrow. Feel free to pick one from the list please. So, um, somebody took all the guns. Interesting. He has a personal pistol which we can get if we bring three piles of gunpowder. And this one here is a golden revolver which we need for some bonus in the first location. So gunpowder, where can we get gunpowder? Further up, it looks like a fabric store, but there are more stores ahead, so we can check those out. Um, this looks like a metal store. Can it have gunpowder? Let's find out if it does. Nope, it doesn't seem to have anything. But it's just open for digging. You can come here through these tiles if you want this cow for head. Or you might as well skip this. seem to have any enterable buildings ahead we might as well check out the fabric store since we are right next to it and rope is one of the things we need and this store is going to get us that but to get the rope we need five hairs okay horse hairs would be in the stable on the top right building you also need gunpowder which probably would you will find in this building with the targets first let's get some horse hairs okay he has readily agreed to give us the horse hair so it's not a going around game. One, two, three, four, and five. Now one more uh, thing left, which is the rope. For that we need five. No, for the rope we had 5 horses, for the pistol we needed gunpowder, so that we will find in this building. I think he will readily give us that, 
we probably don't have much buildings unexplored so let's try he has a yellow arrow which means he is not readily given us Okay, it's just an objective, not something from a different building. So all we have to do is take the targets right in front of the men, pulling these targets to their extreme ends. Does that work? That's three gunpowder. So with that, we can go back to the guns and ammo building and get the pistol. This is kind of running from pillar to post. We already jumped from several buildings to several buildings, but looks like this is the last one, and we are finally going to run away after this. Okay, we have got the pistol, and don't forget to collect the golden retriever from here. We are yet to collect the rope which this fabric owner promised us to give in exchange of 5 horsehair which we have got from the stables. So thank you for the rope. I guess that's all. Now all we have to do is escape. He is ready to escape. Let's follow him. I wonder if you are helping an evil person run away from jail, prison, police or whatever. But he claims he hasn't done anything wrong. Could be awful but nothing wrong. So let's, might as well help him. Okay, adventure can begin. Let's make sure the air is clear. Which probably means walking down the path till the end. Okay, we need something. I wonder what, but that would be in the next location. For now, we have missed a couple tiles. Which probably could be one of the buildings. Oh, not a building. We completely missed out this graveyard section. So that's probably where all the remaining 28 tiles are. still have some tiles left just one to be precise now where could that be might as well use the last tile finder i haven't found it in the first look so there we go shows in this building okay this one I guess was pretty hard to notice anyway we are done so thank you for watching and see you in the next location